Plumbers, take your mark. When you think of Sweden, you don't typically think of a competitive swimming powerhouse. Louise Hansen is looking to change that. Just 21 years old, she swam the second fastest 100-yard butterfly ever to win the NCAA championship. And she was only a sophomore. She actually came out of the pool and she was like, I know how to get even better. And so that was even more inspiring for me and probably the whole team. Louise has also been a Pac-12 champion twice smashes records almost every time she leaves the block, and represented her native Sweden at the 2016 Olympic Summer Games in Rio de Janeiro. At the moment, I was not happy with my swim and finished fifth. Now afterwards, like, I'm really happy. Like, it's an amazing performance, but we all wanted more at the time, and I think as a team on that relay, we could have done better. Louise hails from Helsingborg, a city of roughly 145,000 people, a scenic coastal community in Sweden known for its friendly residents. It's not surprising that Louise lives up to its moniker. She genuinely cares about those that she is surrounded by, and she she always wants the best for people. She never like wants to hurt anybody. She just always wants people to be a better version of themselves. For Louise, the decision to come to USC from Sweden was easier than one might assume. We basically have had an effective connection into Sweden with our uh, recruits. Uh, prior to Louise coming, we had Stina Gardell. And Stina was very accomplished and very successful here at USC. And as a result, it helped a lot in terms of our streamlined path to Sweden and, and to Louise. They started talking about USC like 2013, so like three years before I actually got here about like how great the program and the school was and how much I would love it. Like we swim the same distances or have pretty similar personalities. So the two of them sold the program for me. Like they loved it so much and I could see myself being happy here. Since arriving stateside, Louise has flourished with the Trojans. In turn, Louise's teammates have embraced her. She's really stepping up into the leadership role as uh, being captain so far this early part of the season. And we think the combination of, of uh, role model as an athlete and a good student is going to be a great uh, kind of representation of what we think everybody should be. There is another Hansen who is embarking on her own journey in the U.S. A member of Louise's international relay team, her sister Sophie is a freshman at North Carolina State. UC was definitely one of her top choices too. She came here on a visit. Um, I think she picked the NC State because we've always done the same thing and she wanted to like try something for herself, which I totally understand. At least we're in the same country now. But for now, all eyes are on Louise. The junior still is two seasons left at USC. Seasons filled with high expectations for her. Well, being the defending champion in the 100-yard butterfly, that's, that comes with a different baggage that she's going to have to overcome. Everybody's going to be gunning for uh, Louise Hansen. 